I now give the floor to World Evangelical Alliance. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. In Canada, while only 5% of the population is indigenous, indigenous people make up about a third of the prison population and a third of deaths in police custody. In Australia, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children aged 10 to 17 make up about, um, make up about 60 percent of the young children in youth jails, despite being only about 5 percent of the population. In the United States, black Americans represent 33 percent of the sentenced prison population, despite representing only 12 percent of the U.S. adult population. Hispanics accounted for 23% of the prison population compared with 16% of the adult population. Also, African Americans in the United States constitute 47% of exonerated, uh, innocent defendants wrongfully convicted of crimes and later exonerated. In India, Adivasi and Dalit communities account for a quarter of the country's population but constitute a third of prisoners. These sample statistics are indicative of a systemic racial injustice in these countries, injustice that exists in many more countries all over the world. We believe that no race or ethnicity is greater or more valuable than another. The World Evangelical Alliance urges all countries to work against the over-representation of their racial, ethnic, or indigenous minorities in prisons. The litmus test for sustainable peace and SDG 16 are the treatment of minorities. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you.